Hey, greetings everybody. I just wanted to show you an interesting new addition to Character Creator 4 that I noticed that will actually enable us now to um, use R3DS wrap to bring in full body morphs. Um, before that wasn't completely possible um, because of pose discrepancies between the bind pose and the scanned character. So uh, I have a video on how to do a full body one for a Daz character, and I have a video on how to do just the head for Character Creator 3. Um, but I never did the full body um, because of this discrepancy, and I'll show you what I mean. So when you want to create a morph for Character Creator, um, you export out your base character, or it could be a morphed character, but usually it's, um, it's the non-gendered base character, which is this guy, and you export it out in, bind, in a bind pose. So in other words, you would go um, File, Export, OBJ, and you would do um, in the bind pose. Oops, sorry. Uh, nude character in bind pose, okay? Um, you have to do that in order to create morphs because uh, that creates the OBJ key that lets you import the morph shape back in. So when Character Creator imports your morph back in, it's expecting it to be based off of this shape. So any difference between this shape and your imported shape is part of your morph. And what happens is if, say, like the arms are in a different position, um, that becomes part of your morph, which is really weird for doing poses because the character, all your stock poses are going to be out of shape because your morph has actually moved the position of arms and stuff like that. So for instance, this is the bind pose that it exports, right? Um, but if we compare that to a scanned data, we get something like this. And notice her arms are much further down and her back is really bowed, you know, and her, her head's kind of, neck's kind of tilted forward. So there's a, a lot of difference between um, this, the, the pose of this versus the bind pose. So let me show you what happens when we import that in as a, as a shape. So this is the non-gendered, you know, character. There's no morph supply to it, right? I'm going to import, uh, let's do create, morph slider editor. I'm just gonna call this test two. I think I have a test one already that I just made. Um, so the source morph is default morph, which is this thing. Um, we could use current, but they're one and the same in this instance. So default morph. Um, the target morph is going to be our character that I, I wrapped this character around the shape of that scanned character to create the, the new shape while retaining um, the geometry of a CC3 character. So that, that's the point of wrapping. So if I go to morphed characters, and if you want to see how that's done, I'll leave a link in the two for the two videos down in the description. You can get an idea of how that's how I accomplish that. Okay, now I gotta load the stupid checksum. The checksum here is for uh, digital rights management. They basically don't want you stealing other people's morphs because if, if I dialed it in a body morph, exported it out, and then brought it in as my own, so to speak, um, you know, that, and then just tried to resell it or something, that they don't really like that. So what they do is inside this OBJ key is all of the morphs that were dialed in during the export of this. Now we don't have any, so if you're creating your own characters, you wouldn't want that. Um, you would have no dialed in morphs that way. It, they're not required by the end user, you know. 
Uh, we're going to adjust the bones so that the bones will then morph, you know, adjust in with the character new character shape, and we will auto apply it. I'm going to hit OK. And boom, we get something really ugly like this. Super creepy. So that's that same pose, but because those arms were down more, they actually cross over each other. So really not nice. Really not good. So this was the problem, you know, in, in previous things. So if we do open A, it's not really open. The arms are more down. If we did a T, it's more of an A pose. So really not working out well. So I'm going to leave it in the quote-unquote T pose here. Um, and now we can fix this, which is pretty cool. So if you go to character, you can now do set T pose. And this brings up this. And now we can just like select different bones and um, you can go to rotation here, right? And kind of fix these. The more of a more of a T shape. I'm not gonna go completely crazy here, but just so you see. She doesn't have a just kind of fixing the spine a bit. All right, so uh, I'm not going to bother with the fingers, but, you know, so maybe something more like that is closer to the T-pose, right? So boom, it fixed the T-pose. So now other poses, like, say, the open A, are closer to what they really should be. Now, we still might have to fix some things. Actually, that's not, that's pretty close. Um, standing pose, now the standing pose is much closer to what it should be instead of in the beginning when the arms were like crossed over each other through the body. So, oh, those are some scary fingers you got there. I don't think I did a really great job with wrapping the fingers, but that was my own uh, thing. Um, this was back in the early days of me playing with R3S rap. But yeah, so it is possible now to bring in full body morphs from R3DS rap into Character Creator, which is just super cool. I'm very happy about that. So anyway, I just thought I'd tell you guys about that. And uh, that's really it. So thanks for checking me out. I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.